Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will end this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang, uh, and some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship, so moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom-loving Aquarian, so yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're going to cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. Okay, welcome on in. Thanks for joining, and I decided to go on and just pre-film this, um, so I'm kind of a little bit ahead of my timing here, but I want to get it out for y'all for the week ahead of june 20th and see what spirit is going to show y'all and uh, there we have the stock market z-man and uh, venus okay well we know that there's a lot of um cancer energy that we're coming into uh, feminine feminine nurturing energy having to do with beauty growth um in venus okay um so i'm kind of getting this cancerian vibe more uh, it's not just venus but more about that yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a lot going on. Oh, my oh goodness. <laughs> I got to sort this out, people. This is a lot. This is a lot. Okay. I just heard they're trying to manufacture buy-in. The consent of the governed. They are trying to manufacture it, okay, through mass form formation psychosis. Um, I'm also seeing there's a tie-in with um, the stock market here. These two are going hand in hand. Let me sort the rest of this out. Okay, I am getting a very interesting message off of this. This is, I'm gonna hold that for the end, okay? I'm gonna just tell you right intuitively out the gate. And I hate to say this, as a woman, I hate to say this. But I feel like a lot of women and men who are operating more uh, out of their femininity uh, or their feminine energy, less of their masculinity, those are the ones who are falling most prey to um, mass formation psychosis, okay? Um, this needs to be healed. This needs to be held. I'm going to go in that direction um, in a bit. Let's start off talking about um, what's going on with the World Economic Forum. Z-Man, you know who he is, out in um, that country that um, has been called the money laundering capital of the world. Yes. And the UK. 
uh, what do we want to know about these? Because they're all they're all related. They all have to do with one another. So what are the messages for the week of June 20th? What do we need to know? And I'm feeling that one popped up. Oof, defeat, defeat. Um, heaviness, burden, responsibility. Now I saw 10 of swords with that, but it's actually 10 of wands. There's another 10 and it has to do with generational wealth. It has to do with resources, legacy, king of swords, perhaps legal, legal entities. The court system is at play here with a king of swords. And there we go again. A couple of weeks ago, I saw that nine of chalices. Like it's just have a look at all three tens. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> this is an omen, people. And then the other one is a nine endings, 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 culmination. Okay. Um, let me see if I can figure out who that King of Swords is. Oh wow, he is an Aquarius. He is an Aquarius. Born January 25th. He is a very Capricorn leaning Aquarius. Okay, so I think this is Zelensky right here. Um, I'm getting a mixed message here. Honestly, I feel like he's got a lot of heaviness on him having to do with the resources and responsibilities. I'm also getting a lot of pressure from deep pockets. I'm also getting a difficult economy with this. A lot of hardship, and I don't think it's going to be sustainable. This is very Saturnian energy. And there might be some debt slavery involved here. And this guy's looking dead at it. And I'm also seeing an issue of servitude, having to serve the debts. But this also has to do with the general wealth and welfare of the country. And the corporations who are invested and, and involved and engaged in this. It also has to do with property. Who owns what out there? Something about foundations, trust funds, estates, heirs. People that are legally, lawfully locked into obligations with money. They can't just they can't just drop this, but they're gonna have to. Because with all these tens here, this is coming to finality and completion. I am also seeing that what's going on in behind him, when he's what's he's looking at this negativity, but in the backdrop of his life, it looks like there's all this happiness. And it's like he's got people around him who are having a grand old time. They're living the good life. They're getting what they want, their wish fulfillment. And could be a lot of wealthy gatherings and parties and boozing it up and schmoozing it up. And this would be people coming together who basically have shared values in terms of what the good life is for them. And it involves a lot of money and a lot of responsibility. It's, it's like this is going on in the backdrop of his life, but he's having he's being forced to look at i can't keep on with this this is not sustainable while other people are enjoying it okay with the house card i think it has in community it has to do with the homeland and the mature man i'm honestly getting klaus schwab main female i am not sure who the main female is there I do know that Klaus Schwab has had his daughter um, speaking at, I think, Davos, Davos, which recently occurred. Well, I'm seeing the words fresh start here, and, and it's going to have to happen at some point with all these tens and, and then the nine. You know, somebody's going to have to get a fresh start. 
But again, they might be sliding him some money to do that, to keep the good times rolling. Um, and it might be seem like a little bit of money. Again, it might be foreign aid coming in from foreign investors or whatever, but it gives them um, a fresh start and some small increase that leads to growth and help stabilize things. And I'm definitely thinking, yes, with this feather card and it being easy money here, abundance, travel, light work, air related, I think this is coming from overseas. It might be that the UK steps in and gives some kind of aid. Aid that might in some way help sustain families and I'm seeing agriculture out there. But this is being done out of emotions. And again, shared resources because people have vested interests out there. Like if that country doesn't do well, their country is not gonna do well. If their business in that location doesn't do well, their business at the rest of the locations isn't gonna do well. So it's like an emotional decision that's being made to render support in some way, some kind of financial support. I'm hearing desperation, but again, they wanna keep something going. They wanna keep something, they wanna keep but it's this is not sustainable. I'm hearing like it's on life support. Let's move on. Let's move on if we can and uh, find out what is going on in the financial sphere uh, with the stock market, stable coins. Um, yeah, I mean we we know. This is rigged. And who's bought into this? And for those of you who don't know, you know, stable coins are basically, you know, anything that, um, any kind of crypto that is being backed by supposedly the value of something that we consider valuable, like USD coin and um, Tether is supposedly sustained by the US dollar. But again, how good is the US dollar? <laughs> That's a whole nother video, right? Um, and, and you got the same thing going on in the stock market. You know, all of those stocks are funded by U.S. dollar, but how good is the U.S. dollar when its buying power is decreasing by the day? I should say the week, if not the day. So there's not really, I mean, to me, that's an oxymoron, stable coins, but I got to call it what people know it by. I don't think it's very stable, if you ask me. And, you know, there's, there's something with buy-ins. Okay, yeah, two of swords, it's like, well, something... There's a crossroads here. And it could also be that somebody is avoiding a difficult truth because they have so much invested in these systems that they don't want to see it. They're not talking about it. They're not, it's not out on the table. Nobody's discussing the big white elephant in the room. Well, I think people are starting to, but people are at a sale mat where they're like, okay, now what? And people are uh, maybe having to make a difficult decision of what am I going to do? I mean, you know, and I know people who are invested in the stock market and they have finally come to the conclusion that this is all rigged, you know, and definitely Uranus and Taurus in the United States natal chart, uh, fifth house is like you're playing Russian roulette with these markets right now to through, you know, for quite a while, okay? And people want to get financial progress, but they're like, how do I do that? How do I progress the situation financially, stably? Um, when we're at a stalemate, th this is a very lunar energy as well, um, where something is not clear. And yes, there's probably a deception. Yet people want to um, see financial improvement. Who doesn't? But again, we're not seeing it yet. Like, there's some kind of stalemate here. Some lack of clarity. There's another two. Um, it's a synchronicity, okay? Wow. Okay, that came up in the last week's reading, that Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. Is this Janet Yellen? I don't know why that's being brought into my head. She's a Leo. I, I don't think that, I don't know if that's her. Okay, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, female. I'm not sure of who this is, okay? But, um, and it might not even be a person. It could just simply be an energy of needing to be very practical, stable, down to earth, 
take a very slow and steady, moderate approach, methodical approach in making plans and who you are with these twos, who are you unifying with? Who are you partnering with? And this might have to do with um, alliances, you know, and because this has a, like a very Mars type of energy to it, um, plotting a course of action in a very methodical way is what I'm seeing surrounding this. So it, I'm kind of being brought back to the energy of last week where um, the issue of the, the crypto market, FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt, cyber warfare, that was all being brought to the forefront last week. And it came out in that reading that, you know, there are hidden alliances who have a plan to progress their situation. Now I'm getting something, I'm getting something about Queen Elizabeth. I <laughs> That's odd. Wow, she is a Taurus. Um, yeah, that that might be it. Okay. Um, Janet Yellen came up. Queen Elizabeth came up. And what I'm seeing here in the car is that somebody's bringing money to a Queen of Pentacles. You know. Let's see. Who is this uh, Queen of Pentacles? Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Who or what is this Queen of Pentacles? I'm getting into some deep tinfoil hat time stuff here, okay? When I'm, I just see, look at that privileged lady is at the foundation. I'm telling you, I think that this might, this might be Queen Elizabeth. And there's been some, there's been some conspiracies that, uh, yeah, so somebody's bringing money to this, this person, okay? Um, I, I know average everyday Americans, normies, blue pill types, um, think that, you know, there's no connection, but there's been a lot of, theories that actually um, we're still very much tied to that they have a lot of control over a lot of the world more so than we think right and they're they're they because right if they if they are tied into the global banking elite who is running these systems largely or infiltrating them rigging them whatever and profiting it's um and i'm going to tell you if it's not her this is like the top 10 wealthiest families in the world is what I'm getting off of this. I'm talking about the people who own BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. Yeah, these are wealthy people who you might see as bankers. I mean, look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a banker here. And he's advancing and bringing money to this lady over here. And she's looking at him, waiting on it. And they've got a partnership where he brings the money to her. That's a crazy message. Tell me about this partnership. Tell me about these partnerships or plans for partnership. Please tell me. It's global. It's global. And there's another woman waiting on the money to come in. Expects it. Look at her in her little nice castle. The privileged lady sitting in her castle waiting for the money to come in. I know some of this sounds absolutely loony tunes to some of you. Um, just look into it. Start researching the wealthiest families in the world. They don't work for their money. Their money works for them. Wrap your head around that, okay? Because the rest of us minions, peasants, have been taught to work for money while they have been taught to make their money work for them. This is global, and I'm also seeing something about the summertime. There's plans going on expectations, plans being formulated, and it's looking into the global banking elite. What is a stalemate about with the Two of Swords? What is a stalemate about with the Two of Swords? I'm feeling that one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, <laughs> bad health. Okay. Um, look, this is what I'm getting out of this. And I'm here, I just heard stuck in the pipelines. Stuck in the pipelines. Why? Because of issues going on with global warfare, the working class, and health issues that have been going on globally. And I'm getting also bad health conditions for workers, for people in the military who have complied with all of these mandates. Uh-oh. Their workers are not at peak performance. 
stuff in the pipeline. Again, it looks like I just opened up Pandora's box and you're like, what, how does this relate? But I'm telling you, this is part of why things are, it's not what it seems is what I'm hearing. It's not what it seems. Number one, there are people who control these that you have no clue about. And that's on purpose. Number two, the people on the ground who are moving this stuff around, these resources and bringing in the profits, the ants, okay, for the queen bee, they're not doing too well right now. They're not doing too well. So, you know, they're going to be looking to manage this situation, but it's going to fluctuate um, because, <laughs> you know, there's... There's going to have to be some new ideas, and and I do see planning going on and new strategies going on here uh, during the summertime, and a lot of changes going on, and they're very ambitious about these changes and their ability to take action in a way that is going to manifest money. This is involving highly, highly visible people, um, royal families, um, banking elite, okay? But I'm also seeing here something with both of these cards about the old and the new. I'm seeing energy. I am seeing um, the truth, a spotlight being put on it about changes going on, changes going on. I, I really want to get more advice on what the working class need. Or we might get advice on the stock market stuff on the when I close out with advice. Let's go on with this Venus feminine energy, nurturing, growing beauty, mass formation, psychosis. Please tell me more about this. What do we need to know about this? I'm getting a lot and I'm not real sure about it, okay? And because of that with the cards, I'm getting this feeling like um, some people are being overwhelmed and they don't know how to process. They don't know how else to assimilate. Uh, the information, it's very sensitive, and so what they do is monkey see, monkey do. They follow what the other sheep are doing, because I'm also getting a vulnerability, a sensitivity, and insecurity around um, not swimming with, with the current, okay? This might have to do with the money that is being given, and I talked about this a couple weeks ago, about how they're going to try to get the CBDCs into um, the single moms, the... Um, People that have, you know, children and that are on welfare and there's dependency issues, okay? Um, something about charity here with the Six of Pentacles. Might also have to do with corporate subsidies, food pantries, government housing, tax refunds. And with the Five of Wands here, conflict. Conflict about it, maybe UBI, I'm seeing again, unemployment, stimulus checks, welfare. Um, this is a very, like this is moon energy, very feminine energy. Both of these very feminine energy. But again, next to that five of wands, there's some kind of adversity here. Arguments maybe, competition. Fighting over resources and the distribution of resources. <laughs> oh, wow. Now I'm seeing a different... Oh, gosh. I'm seeing a different dynamic here now. So this emperor, you know... Hmm, I'm being told Jupiter and Aries, okay? Um, the emperor can represent very powerful and influential people. It can also represent sovereignty. It can represent, but he, we got a beggar here, a dependent, and some, and there's an issue of sovereignty, and this is a conflict. Am I going to be dependent or am I going to be independent? This is maybe an internal conflict going on within the feminine energies, and I, I definitely think it's it's probably more prevalent among American women, or wherever you're at. Um, let me not say American women, women everywhere, all over the globe. Okay, um, and and also we've been dealing with an emasculation of men. And that is by design because they're wanting the men to become unreliable and they want the men to be dependent on th these um, on the government. OK, because how else do you get job security if you don't need them? They don't have a job. So they have been 
trying to cultivate dependency and insecurity in people. And what I'm seeing here in the cards is somebody's asking somebody in authority for a handout. And this person is kind of looking at them out of the corner of their eyes like, I don't know about you. There's a conflict here. This might have to do with the military as well. And I know that a lot of women have been triggered by reports of things, very dark things going on to the women and children in the money laundering capital of the world. And thinking that this is a justification for us to get involved in meddling with other people's business that is not our own, that we cannot afford. Leaving our own women and children vulnerable to attacks. But the feminine energy has been, you know, getting on this bandwagon of I'm a good person because i am got a flag and, you know, want to save these people who I really know nothing about. But, hey, it's the next new thing. It's the current thing. So I'm hip. I'm cool. And they're in lockstep with this whole military stuff. But we have our own. There's a conflict here with this agenda is, wait a minute, you have your own needs that need to get met now, don't you? There is an issue here also with um, financial independence and needing to get accounts in order. And again, it's about looking at what is fair. Somebody wants a handout or they want to give a handout. The problem is, you know, do some, do some honest assessment and, and, and it ain't adding up, okay? The money ain't there for it. Or it's being misappropriated. Something's wrong, okay? There's some conflict about the accounting for the distribution of resources. Something needs to be put in order. And whoever's putting it in order sees the person asking for a handout or wanting to give a handout like, I don't know, you just stay over there. He looks very leery. He looks very leery. Seven of chalices. Somebody's in fantasy land about this. Okay. Like, they think they got a lot of options that they don't have. Like, you think you have unlimited resources. You think money printer goes brr, you know? And you can just keep printing that stuff out and it ain't going to, you know, devalue your dollar and rack up inflation at the end of the day. You think you can just go blame some boogeyman in another country for that inflation. Uh, no, let's get the bookkeeping in order here is really what I'm seeing. Honestly, I mean... I don't really know that this is about, uh, I mean, this emperor is not showing up in reverse. So I don't really know that this is a negative influence here. This is somebody who is maybe bringing a challenge to this energy of, of begging and wanting for stuff because they're like, uh, no. He's kind of looking at this person like, grow up. And this person's looking pretty damn deflated about it. Somebody has some, you know, again, uh, illusions that, that they can just come in and, uh, who is this emperor? They can just come in and just give money willy-nilly all over the place. And, and you don't have to, you know, balance the bookkeeping at the end of the day. Um, yeah, this is. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are people who've got a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Okay. And I'm seeing a definite masculine energy here that has this money. I know some of you are going to say big surprise, of course. And again, I, well, these are very powerful and influential people. And then they might even be people who are just totally polar opposite. Like, you need to stop this dependency stuff. You need to get into, you know, get off of these centralized banking interests. This is maybe even somebody who is into decentralized finance, self-banking, crypto, okay? These type of people who are like, I don't, I don't need those globalists, okay? Um, it's a totally different, what I'm getting off of this energy actually is like, you need to grow up and mature. You need to take control of your own financial destiny. Um, but again, I'm getting with the feminine energy again, which might come through men, some men who've been emasculated. Uh, there is some kind of, I want you to just take care of me. I want to be taken care of. And I'm not, I'm not really, um, that's the wishful thinking here. What's the wishful thinking here? 
I mean, I'm very traditional. I'm going to tell you, and I, I do, I do like the idea of this um, men being empowered and being the protectors and the providers and bringing security and stability. Um, I think somebody's got some wishful thinking about debt, okay, and loss of freedom, loss of financial sovereignty. I just heard solvency, financial solvency. Um, somebody doesn't understand how accounting works, okay, and economics. What's the conflict about? Uh, these are officials. Yeah, these are people in authority or people who are in high high places of influence. What is the there's that crown again, and you know I told you I got something with the royal family. I sure did. With that with that queen. Mm-hmm. Overcoming obstacles, power plays, wealth, taking charge. And I'm this is somebody who takes charge. So there's a conflict here of how do I overcome the the problems that are going on in the world? How do I boss up? How do I take charge? Because uh, people are just, I'm, I'm also getting this um, almost Piscean type of limp wrested, uh, not, 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 he got to, you got to find your feet. You got to grow some balls <laughs> and have sound money, some monetary system, solid finances, solid investing, integrity, wholeness in the financing um, and, and looking at, you know, the long term, not just the quick fixes. Oh, let's go run over here and help these people or, you know, you got to look deeper into this. If this is somebody who is looking for some kind of financial relief, uh, relief, they're wanting to be taken care of, they're wanting to be supported, they want job security, they want growth. And again, there's a time and a place for all of that. But what I'm sensing out of here, out of this entire reading, is that somebody doesn't understand how the monetary system works. Um, they have some wishful thinking and they, they're, they're, and because they are not maturing into that knowledge, they're just wanting instead somebody else to come and rescue them who has matured in that knowledge. They don't really want to be responsible. It's about a lot of money. Again, officials who have, I saw it here with the emperor and the sudden wealth. And I'm seeing it here with the official person and treasure. Somebody just wants worry-free finances. Just take care of me. I want to live well. I want to live comfortably. I don't want to worry about all that stuff. But that's just not reality with the seven of chalices. You know, we're here to learn grounded manifestation how to bring heaven down to earth. And somebody just doesn't want to learn the lessons. They want to live in excess. And maybe there are some people, yes, some of these people are in excess. They got money in reserve. But I think that there are other people who just want to come in and, and just like take the easy way out. This is delusional thinking. That's something that they, they won't, they're not willing to do for themselves that others should do it for them. And I think there's a saying about, you know, people who are, um, people who don't care about politics and money, they're basically going to be ruled by people who do. And it's this maturing process. I want to get some advice. I'm going to leave off with some advice on this, um, what's going on with the monetary system. Um, try to get some advice. And if something else random comes out, well, we'll just have to go with it and flow with it. Um, I'm feeling these. Deservingness, quiet retreat, release resentments about money, savings. Well, last week, you know, we got advice about clearing debts. And now I'm getting, you know, honestly, uh, all of this reading, a vibe of, I, I'm feeling a pulling back here with quiet retreat and savings. Um, I, I think that if you're not clear about what you need to do, you need to pull back and wait till you are clear um, and saving for your future. I have been hearing a lot more people talking about um, holding on to cash, okay? But there are other people out there that believe cash is trash because it's being devalued through inflation every day. And we know that when it sits in these bank accounts, it's not like the good old days where you earn a good interest rate on your money. No, um, it's losing value sitting in savings in these bank accounts. So. Um, but to everybody has their own unique situation. Um, and I think of the, the basic advice is you do want to have uh, at least enough cash at hand to get you through um, three to six months living expenses if possible. And any, any more than that would be for, you know, investing. But honestly, what I'm getting an answer to this question is some of you need to pull back and just hold on to your cash for now. And that's something I might be looking more into as time goes on. 
but again, it takes discernment about what are your needs and what are your abilities. Some people have more money to work with than others. Some people have more need for cash at hand than others, okay? Um, there's also an issue here of deservingness and resentment with money. So again, I think last week we got a card on jealousy as well. So I'm getting a spillover here about people not only having envy of others with more, but resentful about other people having more because the monetary system right now is not fair. And this can be very upsetting where you feel like you're being robbed of your abundance, of your hard-earned dollars. And I think the advice here is that you need to focus instead on attracting support into your life and opportunities that help you to grow and thrive despite these adversities. And look at how there's always, always opportunity in a crisis. That's how the, these wealthy elite are getting ahead. They're manufacturing crises from which to profit. So always look at it, right? Like, yeah, the gas prices are high right now, but six to 12 months ago, the experts were saying, hey, go invest in, you know, oil, go invest in commodities with the, how, with the um, food shortage crisis. Because I do, I have heard other people say, hey, at the end of the day, Wall Street always wins. And I know that there's bullshit going on, okay? But again, for some of you who already have money tied up in the stock market and you can't get it out because it's tied up in 401ks, um, look at where the hidden opportunities are in this crisis. And know that you're deserving. Um, this card is about you getting the support that you need so that you can do the right thing. But you have got to recognize your own ability to go after those golden opportunities and attract that support that is actually there. If you can look hard enough, you'll see it. You gotta, you gotta look through a lot of the shenanigans, a lot of the smoke and mirrors, but it is there. I hope that encouraged you and y'all have a great week. Be blessed.